Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Casca and I like to make things. In today's video, I'll be making a gunny sacks dress for Halloween. Happy Halloween everyone! I hope you are all enjoying this most spooky of days. I really do enjoy Halloween, it's my favourite time of year. I just wish that in the UK we do it properly. Like, there's some shops that are taking down the Halloween stuff now and replacing it with Christmas stuff and I just can't. It's, it's not right. <laughs> My original plan was to do a cosplay outfit for Halloween, but it's ending up being a little bit more complicated and there's still a load of supplies that I need to get, so that is going on hold just for a moment. But in the meantime, I needed something else to do for Halloween. I'd seen a bunch of other costumers earlier in the month doing gunny saxoween dresses, and I thought it was such a fun idea and I wanted to join in but at the time I had plans for other stuff leading up to Halloween so I felt like I've just not got enough time to do it but now that the cosplay outfit has gone on hold I do have time to do it I found this lovely fabric with little crows and little bats and I thought this would work absolutely great for a gunny saxoween dress it was reasonably cheap and they had fast delivery which works brilliant for me although the delivery company did mess me around and end up setting me back a few days i also found this lovely fabric which i thought would look really nice going over the sleeves like that sort of thing and then with the little bats and stuff poking through i thought that could look quite cute uh, i can also use it for little embellishments on the bodice section and possibly on the skirt as well we shall see now i've only got two days to make this dress so i better get cracking okay so this is where i'm at with the bodice i used my basic block pattern and just made some slight alterations i apologize if the exposure keeps going light and dark and light and dark the weather doesn't know what it wants to do today anyway i used my basic block pattern and basically i cut into the neckline to lower it and make it square i did that with the both both the front and the back then I divided it up so we've got a panel at the front and the back and then the sides and that way I could have them being different fabrics or well what I'm thinking fabric wise mainly for warmth with this being an autumn dress is I'm going to layer so for the sections like the front panel and the back panel and on the sleeves I'm gonna have the spooky bats and crow fabric and then I'm gonna have that black lacy material on top of that so fingers crossed it should give me a little bit more warmth so I don't I don't think I need to do a mock-up because like I said I've used my basic block and I've used that many times and I know that it fits me the only real alterations I've made are cutting a bit off I moved the dart over by an inch as well on the front because this is made for wearing with like 40s 50s style bras and i'm wanting to wear a modern bra with this so my apex is going to be shifted a bit further to the center it's not going to be as much separation the other thing that i did was i took out the shoulder dart which i don't even know why i put that on it's just because it was in the instructions when i made the pattern but i never use it uh, I also took out the dart at the bottom here and transferred it to the side. I am not in any way trained when it comes to pattern manipulation, pattern drafting or anything like that. If you want to see really good tutorials, Closet Historian and also Book Hoarding with Bianca, um, she's just started uh, doing pattern drafting and stuff as well so check them out I started off by cutting out my pattern pieces first out of the spooky fabric then the lace
I then cut four panels salvage to salvage to create a ruffle for the bottom. I attached my pockets and then finished the skirt with French seams. Next I flatlined the two fabric layers for the front and back bodice and the sleeves so they'd be easier to work with. I then sewed all my darts and attached the bodice pieces together. I stitched the bodice to the skirt. I ended up having to unpick it twice because I got bits of the skirt caught. This is an important lesson on sewing while tired. I added a strip of lace to the neckline because I thought it looked pretty. I decided to do the gathers at the top of the sleeve by hand. I thought it would be a little bit of a pain doing it by machine with that lace. I also set the sleeves into the bodice by hand. I pressed the back seam and then inserted my zip. Then I stitched the long panels together end to end and gathered it into the bottom of the skirt. The two were then stitched together. I somehow managed to get bits cut again and had to do more unpicking. I wasn't having a lot of luck with long continuous bits of sewing. <laughs> Next I added a strip of lace to the bottom on the right side of the fabric. This was then turned under and stitched down to encase the raw edges. Next I folded over the bottom of my sleeves twice to create a little channel. I then threaded some elastic through it. And the final step, which I didn't record because I thought I wasn't going to have time to finish it, was the strip of lace just above the ruffle.
seriously love this so much. Like, it's so pretty. It really is pretty. The fabric I am in love with, like, it's subtle Halloween-y. Like, little bats, little crows. I could wear this out in town, not on Halloween. And unless somebody got really close, they wouldn't know it was a Halloween dress, which I absolutely love. Also, what do you think of my hat? <laughs> Can't fit it in the frame. Just, I saw loads of people making Halloween witchy hats, and I was like, I want a witchy hat. So I had some leftover buckram and some garden wire and thought, you know what, I'm going to make a witch hat. And I really like it. <laughs> anyway, back to the dress. I really like how the lacy fabric on top of the spooky fabric turned out. I think it gives it that really nice kind of like two-tone gunny sacks dress kind of vibe. I very nearly didn't end up with the strip along just above the ruffle at the bottom because I nearly ran out of time but I'm so glad that I was able to include it because it just really pulls it all together. Also the layer of lace I did on the very very bottom of it as well like not only is it a great way to do a nice clean hem without actually having to do a proper hem, but it just looks really pretty as well. <laughs> Overall, I'm really happy. There's only a couple of little tiny, teeny, 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 tiny things, and that's, firstly, it gapes a little tiny bit at the back, and it seems to be mainly this side, and I'm thinking that's more of a me issue. I think I might have one shoulder that comes down a little bit lower than the other possibly and I just hadn't noticed before because this side, like, and obviously they're both identical, this side it fits nice and snug and this side there's just a tiny bit of looseness. So that's something to bear in mind for next time and maybe make a note of it on my block pattern that my right shoulder is just a little bit lower. The other thing is that the little bats and little crows aren't true black. They're more of a greyish black. So you can see that there's a little bit of a difference between the black on the crows and the black on here. But you know what, that's fine, <laughs> like that's absolutely fine. From the gunny sacks dresses I've seen it does look like there's a little bit of a mismatch like with fabrics and stuff anyway, so it fits the theme perfectly. <laughs> Everything else though I am so so happy with, like I say, this is a dress that's going to end up going into my regular like day to day wardrobe because it's so fun, like I really do love it. And since I've shown you my Halloween outfit, I want to see your Halloween outfit. Tell me in the comments what you've been making, if you've got an Instagram link so I can see. I always love seeing pictures of Halloween costumes, it's so much fun. Especially if it's a pet. If you have done a really cute Halloween costume for your pet, I want to know about it. And I would also like to say a massive thank you and say hello to all my new followers. Just the other day I hit 500 followers and that means I'm going to be getting the community tab so I can chat with you guys, I can post sneaky peeks, all that kind of stuff. So thank you very much, I really do appreciate every single one of you. If you enjoyed this video and fancy giving it a like it would be very much appreciated. I'm always open to your suggestions and constructive criticism so anything you'd like to see let me know in the comments and if you'd like to see more videos of me trying to make things then why not subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified next time I upload a video. I do my very best to upload a new video twice a month. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Happy Halloween!